All right, Brian from Garage Mahal. A customer brought me their Chevy Cavalier, and they uh, they said that their there's no brake fluid in their master cylinder, and they knew that they had a leak in their rear brakes. So uh, obviously that's bad. And uh, once we start looking at the extent of the rust underneath, you'll you'll understand why. But basically, they have a bad rust spot in the rear subframe and then if you look at where the brake line joins that's completely rusted through um, so you can see the rest of the brake line you can follow it but basically you can follow it down your body and then uh, you have your emergency brake cable line that is also rusting through so you actually lost both braking systems on this car um, and you can see where your uh, sway bar linkage is snapped. Your CV joint is leaking on this side. So, you know, anytime a customer says uh, their brake lines have rusted through, there's always a lot more extensive damage that's underneath. I mean, you can see where the tie rod boot is, is ripped through completely. Uh, your lower control arms are rusted through. Your front subframe has scaling rust on it. And in Pennsylvania now, uh, if you have scaling rust like this, it's got to be removed and uh, basically resurfaced. Um, new brackets welded in that are the, the same thickness as the metal that's there. Uh, basically, any, any type of rot they, they want replaced. So the amount of labor involved in trying to repair this would be so extensive. Uh, it's, it's not worth fixing. It really, really isn't. So, and then you have the, this rear support frame. It, it's rusted as well, but you got the, you got that cancer rust just building up on there. And then another view of the, uh, the muffler that is basically just completely rotted out. So you got exhaust leaks. And then you have the, your uh, gas tank brackets would have to be replaced as well. They're com completely rusted. And the whole exhaust system as a whole is just uh, rusted apart. Like that section right there would just crumble if you started messing around touching it. Uh, but anyway, that's just kind of, kind of an overview. So if you ever run across a car and they say that the brake lines are rusting out, there's going to be more. There's going to be a lot more damage um, involved. So that's kind of a just a quick overview of what the underside undercarriage of a, uh, a badly rusted vehicle is going to look like and some more things to look out for so if you're a mechanic oh yeah rear struts are shot they're completely rusted you know that bracket's probably ready to break off uh car's obviously been sitting for a while you got cobwebs up there but anyhow uh just to give you some idea if someone says that you have a you know brake lines need to be replaced there's going to be a lot more damage um, that's involved anyway uh hope that helps everybody out there brian from garage hall thanks for watching and subscribing